Okay. All right. Welcome back to Bamboo Batu, everyone. Um, got special guest uh, Kamesh Salam here today. I'm really excited to talk to him. And uh, if you like bamboo as much as I do, please check out my website, bambubatu.com, B-A-N-B-U-B-A-T-U. Uh, hundreds of articles about all topics related to bamboo, uh, in-depth stories, lots of high quality photographs, good stuff. And please subscribe to my channel. I've got a hundred videos and counting. And we love talking about bamboo and carbon removal and biochar and, and nature-based solutions and all kinds of cool things. Um, so yeah, very happy to have you here, Kamesh. Uh, we've been connected for a few years now through the bamboo circles and you're, uh, something of a legend in the bamboo space. Uh, you are the, as far as I understand, you were the founder of world bamboo day and world bamboo day is coming up September 18th. Uh, we're recording today. It's July 17th, I think. Uh, yeah. so a couple months, couple months away. Uh, from yeah. Bamboo Day 2024, taking place in Chiang Mai, Thailand, which is an amazing place for bamboo. Uh, I haven't been to northern Thailand. I was in southern Thailand last year around Bangkok and a couple of other areas. Uh, but the north is supposed to be like one of the great meccas for, for bamboo. Tons of bamboo growing, uh, lots of crafts and industry around it. And uh, I think it's going to be an exceptional event. So tell us a little about, about how, how World Bamboo Day got started and, and what we have planned this year. Uh, thank you, Fred, for, uh, for inviting me to speak. Oh, still there. Uh, so the World Bamboo Day started in 2009 in Bangkok. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank the World Bamboo Organization for uh, giving the platform to start this event uh, during the eighth World Bamboo Congress, uh, during my tenure as the former president of the World Bamboo Organization. Uh, there we stick an idea where, why don't we have a day for bamboo? That was the idea that clicked me and also I had a full support from the Royal Thai Forest Department. And uh, can you hear me? Yep, yep, loud and clear. Yeah, uh, that was a time. Uh, your your camera went off though. Camera went off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, we can sorry. hear you. So two thousand and nine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So can you is, see me now? Yep. Yep. You're good. Yeah, uh, the World Bamboo Day started in 2009 uh, during the 8th World Bamboo Congress that was held at Bangkok uh, under the World Bamboo Organizations in the leadership of Susan Lucas. Uh, I'm very thankful to her for you know giving me the space to have this day as a World Bamboo Day. Since yeah. that day, the World Bamboo started and this has become a big event globally. And people have started celebrating nook and corner in the world wherever bamboo grows. In fact, in 2010, I did the World Bamboo Day in Nagaland, Kohima, where it was graced by the Vice President of India, Dr. Hamid Ansari, and also hosted by the Chief Minister of Nagaland. That also gave us a big uh, uh, you know, uh, support to the movement of World Bamboo Day. And, and, and there also I had the full support of World Bamboo Organization. Ever since that day, I think World Bamboo Day has become a natural moment. Everywhere in the world, bamboo celebrate. They say World Bamboo Day, you sing on bamboo, you eat bamboo, you talk about bamboo, you grow in, you go in the bamboo forest. You have many things that you can do with bamboo. Also, another interesting thing that when we did in Thailand, 18th September happens to be the uh, Royal Forest Thai, Thai Forestry Day. So it also coincides with the Royal Thai Forestry Day. And, and, and hence, uh, uh, this day is very important because the Royal Thai Forestry Day and the global bamboo community is celebrating World Bamboo Day. Now, this is going to the 15th year of World Bamboo Day. And I'm happy that to have the, the bamboo fraternity, bamboo family coming together to celebrate. Though it has been celebrated everywhere, but still I'm hoping people to come and join me to celebrate because there are many issues that we need to discuss 
what is happening globally. Number one, bamboo, World Bamboo Day is still recognized by the United Nations. This is one thing we would like to globally uh, take it up uh, with the global community to the United Nations that World Bamboo Day should be recognized uh, as a event uh, like any other uh, day recognized by UN. That is one. And second is that we also need to celebrate this day by you know, having two or three key areas of theme of this World Bamboo Day. One is on uh, bamboo re restoration and bamboo plantation will be you know, uh, organized by the FAO regional office in Bangkok. Then we have discussion on the bamboo carbon farming and that is on the value chain of bamboo being organized by uh, the gold standard Geneva. Then we have a discussion on the bamboo biochar, which is becoming very popular on, on because of the uh, bamboo's Belu Belu. So that will be also organized by Wang Pai. Uh, that is a Thai based company. Yep, my good friends, uh, Kom, Kom and Nui from Wang Pai, yeah, and, working yeah. with them on their biochar yes, project. Exactly. So biochar is one subject where many people are interested. And I think we'll have some practical discussion on this issue. Then lastly, we have the discussion, uh, panel discussion on bamboo architecture and construction. But the main events happens to be in Chiang Mai Light Construction in the uh, at the this thing, uh, Pendian International School, uh, designed by architecture uh, Marcus Roslip, uh, uh, architect Mar Marcus, uh, whose school is also a, a pioneering school in uh, in the world made of bamboo. We have a gala evening there, where there'll be a green carpet like the red carpet of, of Oscar, we have the green carpet. Then we have nice. uh, bamboo music. And also uh, Marcus will be talking about the, the school that he has created. There'll be one hour lecture on that. After that, we'll ask all the mem member countries to speak a few words on the respective countries. Then we have a bamboo music team uh, coming from Kerala, India, who will play on uh, various bamboo instrument music. And we have, and with a gala evening with dinner. So that is the day, uh, day one. Day two, day three, we have a, a series of workshops, hands-on workshop at the Chiang Mai Architecture College, uh, a faculty of Chiang Mai University. Uh, that will be on bamboo architecture and design, then uh, bamboo architecture construction, we have on bamboo uh, furniture, then we have on bamboo bag making, and we have on bamboo craft. And after that, we have the field visits, which are optional people who are not attending the workshops. So this is the brief of the program, but we have got uh, very good uh, speakers coming from all over the world. We are still on the process of finalizing, but we have a great support from the Japan Bamboo Foundation, American Bamboo Society, Australian Bamboo Society, then Belgium Bamboo Society. Uh, many of the bamboo community are supporting this event. Uh, this event is organized by the uh, South Asia Bamboo Foundation, which I am the CEO. Then the Chiang Mai Life Construction, uh, Architects and Construction of, uh, of Dr. Marcus. Then we have the Thai bamboo community. Then we have the Chiang Mai University who are the lead organizer for this event. Uh, we have got a technical support or knowledge partner with the National Institute of Design in India. Then the National Changcheng University of Taiwan. We are expecting a big group from Taiwan attending the event. So, so uh, no, uh, Fred, we are still in the planning stage and we just uh, advertised the event only two days back uh, for people to register. And I'm hopeful that Thailand is a, is a place where you attract a lot of Tourists because of the Thai hospitality. And I expect the same, you know, that, uh, that we get a good reception from the global community to come down to Thailand. Uh, it's sure. easier to travel. The visa norms are easy. It is a very tourist friendly uh, country. Plus there are many things that can see in Thailand, uh, in, in Chiang Mai, what as you said, maybe bamboo plantations, then bamboo handicrafts, bamboo industries, many things that we have planned for our guests to come and see. And I look forward and inviting the bamboo ambassadors, then the, the, the bamboo people, the bamboo king, so many bamboo uh, mm -hmm. groups are there coming down to Chiang Mai and attending the event, you know? The, the so event. so uh, to these uh, uh, World Bamboo Day celebrations, yeah. The the event is open to the public, right? It's not just for bamboo industry people, right? Anybody can, can it come. Is, it, it, anybody can come uh, and also join the, uh, the event, yeah. And it's, yeah, but, uh, Thailand is... Uh, fantastic place to visit the hospitality like you said is is incredible people yeah. are so nice there everybody's smiling at you and yes. just very friendly the food exactly uh maybe yeah. my favorite food in the world in thailand it's really yeah. good uh and, and fred there are some cooking schools made of bamboo yeah made by dr Mar dr marcus 
And that will be an, an very interesting, you know, for the family or for the extended family who are attending the event. They can spend their time there, you know. Nice. So and cooking be, classes, a lot of yes. construction. There's always good construction classes. It sounds like you have some world class uh, bamboo yes. Yes. There to learn from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Always, yeah. Yeah. Always great uh, yeah. exchange yes. of knowledge in those kinds of classes. And yeah. Say there's bamboo bicycle making class also. Bamboo bicycle making class. In the class, you know, people will go back with one 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 bamboo frame. They're carrying back a cycle frame. So they, they can fly to Thailand, make a bike frame, take it home, buy some exactly. tires, exactly. put them on, and, yes. and you're, yeah. you're up and running. Exactly. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. Nice. And, and the bamboo bamboo furniture is also all modular bamboo furniture. And and we also have uh, architect Muni uh, from uh, Australia coming down to conduct a tra uh, training program on bamboo construction. Nice, really good. So so, so we have uh, we have uh, people around coming down to celebrate this event jointly. Basically it's a celebration. We are not talking about what, uh, you know, on various research or development, but we want to talk on applications, what is happening, you know? Nice. How yeah. we move, what, what, how we move forward. Because I have seen many of the bamboo uh, events are most on, you know, or talking about what I have done or what is being done. But here people are going to check what we can apply in the value chain of bamboo. And also to see like uh, the value chains, how bamboo car carbon farming can benefit. One, one item is that we talk about uh, carbon credit everywhere. But many people doesn't know where this carbon credit comes from. Where's the carbon market? A bamboo grower, a bamboo farmer, a, a bamboo construction. Where does this uh, bamboo carbon credit applies? Yeah, I just made another video about bamboo carbon credits because it's such a hot topic. People email me and contact me all the time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. All these, these biochar projects that we're doing um, yes. are related to carbon credits. And so, yeah, I'm glad yeah, Coke yeah. is going to be there from Wong Pai. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a pioneer in the biochar yeah. space and uh, yeah, yeah. A great, uh, advocate um, yeah. For, yeah. for bamboo biochar. Yes, uh, and carbon carbon credit. We are having the uh, green gold, uh, gold standards from Geneva. They are sending experts to discuss with the stakeholders. Nice, nice. So, so, so that will be also very interesting. Super. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. maybe the hottest issue in in bamboo these days. Uh, but yeah, there's more and more bamboo events coming up uh, happening lately. With but some of them are really academic. There's lots of academic papers about research. Uh, yeah. like real industry type of events but it sounds like this yeah. is this is just like you said a celebration of bamboo uh just bamboo yes. lovers getting together and and building yeah. and eating and making music uh the bamboo music is yeah. going to be a highlight for sure that sounds sounds like a lot yes. um, yeah 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 and this year we saw a lot of events starting for the in dotobun the the bamboo uh, european bamboo expo was there yes. then you had what one in Taiwan, the World Bamboo Congress was there. Then yeah. we had recently in, in, in Holland, there was an event there. And you also had even in Spain and other countries on, on bamboo. Yeah. Basically, I see the global community are taking more interest in bamboo constructions. But uh, in, the, in the value chain, I see that beyond constructions, there are many players, there are many actors. So uh, uh, our aim is to bring all the actors under one roof and also discuss you know, one important thing, which I have not, we have not been announced yet because we also trying to see how the bamboo trade is going ahead and where the value chain actors are there. Supposing a bamboo grower, a bamboo processor, a bamboo farmer, uh, and also the bamboo uh, construction, we have our say in the whole value chain. And we need to come together to see that how the global trade is taking place outside China. Yeah. The global trade figure we have is mostly what is happening from China. That doesn't include what is happening in Colombia, Ecuador, in Indonesia, Vietnam, or even in India. You know, so I feel that the bamboo trade and the and the actors in the value chain should come together and also look at bamboo as a commodity. Mm -hmm. When we look at the commodity, there is a tea and rubber, coffee, commodity boards. Mm -hmm. And we also feel in the long run, bamboo should also have its own commodity board run by the CSOs or by the international organizations or mm -hmm. maybe under UN. And this is also one topic I kept it open so that key stakeholders who are interested can discuss on this issue. And, and, and our friends from Malaysia are taking the lead because Malaysia is a country where rubber 
palm oil is a commodity and it's been branded. So we need to learn some lessons from Malaysia, how they have branded palm oil, how they have branded rubber. Similarly, we can do for bamboo, like coffee or tea. That's a great idea. It makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. No, it's a high time, I feel. It's a high time, you know? Yeah. The 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 trade, yeah. the branding, commodity. Because lobby for commodity is not taking place. Wherever I see, I don't see any lobby. We are all fighting individually. Mm -hmm. No, we need to create a lobby for bamboo and see how we can make it. The lobby for research and development are very strong. People get paper, people make it, the paper, they get funding for that. Those are most individual. But what I see at last, uh, bamboo is, is you know shifting backward. We talk about a big issue today, bamboo against or for plastic. Mm -hmm. But where is the challenge? Where is we are are we ready to accept that? We are only you know talking when time comes, okay, we can replace bamboo. Uh, by from plastic, but what I can is merely some spoons or fork or some toothpick or something like that. But at last, you know, we are not getting any answer. Yeah, to yes, take sir. on the plastic industry, yeah, it's it's a yes. hugely important yes. task, but it's one that requires yeah. some real organization and uh, consolidation of, of the bamboo industry. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's starting to happen little by little. Um, yeah, yeah, more and more bamboo projects taking off in, in South America, Europe. But, but Fred, I see that that uh, the bamboo community is not taking the challenge seriously because there are a lot of gap with research and development. The research mm -hmm. is going one side and development is going one side. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. we also need to uh, sit down and discuss and put our heads. Maybe not not this, but we can create some ideas where we go ahead from these celebrations. In fact, you know, uh, also I feel that uh, this celebration should be held every two years. Any country can host it so that we can meet in every two years, something like that. Yeah. So isn't, these, isn't... Are, these are some of the ideas I have to share with the global community that nice. we can meet at least yeah. other, other than the Congress or other than a conference. But a celebration of this kind can be next time in Colombia or maybe next time in Japan or may, maybe somewhere in, in, in where you stay. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, bamboo events in uh, in Portugal. Uh, the Bamboo Park yeah. in Portugal is starting to host more workshops. Uh, yeah, yeah. The gathering coming up in uh, October, October 2024. Uh, okay. Yeah, lots of good events uh, in Europe now. And yeah, yeah. As well as, yeah, South America, I think the United States is, is due for a, an American yeah. bamboo uh, uh, gathering. Society, so, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is taking place, but again, uh, 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 I'm talking more about the uh, World Bamboo Day celebration, mm -hmm. the the significance of World Bamboo Day. Uh, but more important, you know, we feel that it's more than it's going to be 15th year. At least the UN should recognize this day as a World Bamboo Day. Nice, that would be because, great. Because yeah. because you see that at least more than six seven SDG goals are there where bamboo can satisfy. So why not bamboo? Exactly. By the UN. You know, UNIDO, FAO, and, and many of the UN organizations are already working bamboo. But the issue is that it should go to the UN headquarters to you know declare this World Bamboo Day. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. They've got uh, was it 17 or 18 uh, sustainable development goals. Bamboo addresses yeah, yeah. and maybe yeah, half yeah, of them. Yeah. It's a it's a very tangible, real solution that uh, yeah we need to be pursuing it further. So. Yeah. Thank you for, for organizing the event. Uh, once again, I'm sure it's going to be a great success and an uh, incredible celebration. And whenever you get a lot of bamboo people together, it's always a ton of fun because because bamboo people are, are my kind of people. And uh, no, thank you. Thank you, Fred, uh, Batu being a media partner for this event. And yep. I also like to thank the Chiang Mai University and the people in Chiang Mai who has readily agreed to host this uh, event. I'm very thankful to them. When I talk about this World Bamboo Day, the Chiang Mai University stood up and say, okay, we have some funds to give you and to help this organize. Then ob ob obviously uh, Marcus was a good friend who said, okay, we can I can offer my space for the event. Then we have friends like Sapol, who was the former director of Royal Thai Forest. We have Ahmed uh, Malzan from, from Malaysia. So we have a very good supporter who have helped me you know, to take this event in, in Thailand. So nevertheless, I look forward to see you uh, on, on this event and also you sharing a session, which I look for.
So thank you, Fred. And I think we can uh, come up with the next uh, once we have all the speakers online. And I Great. look forward for your support. Great. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, thank you, Kamesh. It's been a uh, it's been wonderful speaking with you. And uh, we'll talk again real soon. I'm sure. Thanks everyone for watching. Always. Uh, thank you. Remember to thank subscribe, you. like, comment, thank all you. that stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Bye. Thank you.